In today's show, we have a story on the new ticker and a story on the updated FFA room. Let's go learn. I'm Emma. And I'm Jake, and you're watching SVTV. We are making stories by teens for teens. Creating a platform, finding character, and giving others a voice. This is SVTV. Jake, have you seen the new ticker by the bank? Yeah, I like how you can see the sports scores. A ticker was installed by the bank two weeks ago. Many people have noticed it, but are still unsure of its purpose within the school. So with the RISE display in the ticker, uh, it does a good job of informing students of the business world around them. We, we're trying to encourage students to think of business education outside of the classroom and with stocks and, and investments and you know what's happening with the companies, they need to realize that it's part of their future and it's really gathered a lot of interest in our students. In our personal finance class, we do the Kansas stock market game where students in groups of three invest $100,000. So now they're able to track their stocks and make investment decisions as to whether or not they want to buy and sell, and they can find out what businesses are really making a push in the market right now. In addition to the ticker, the school has also installed a rise board near the bank. Uh, with our RISE board, we want to use that to highlight school events, class events, and we really think it'll uh, be a good thing. Uh, Mr. Tinsley approached me regarding my graphic design class being able to create some backgrounds and some things that would kind of inform people on not only those things but also possibly games and our opponents. I think it's absolutely incredible when our kids can create stuff that they can see actually comes to life and is used out in the real world and this gives another opportunity for our kids to be able to create something and then see it put into practice. If you haven't had the chance to, make sure to take some time to check out both of the new additions. Make sure to check it out if you want to see stock updates and the latest scores. Now for your announcements. Seniors, the 100th year picture is this Thursday during CALP on the football field. If you want to join Interact, $5 is due this Friday. The first meeting is October 3rd at 7.30 a.m. in the library. The SHS Thirst Project will be holding a Walk for Water Night on sat Saturday, October 12th at 4.30 p.m. To register, talk to Mr. Crummy. Seaman Art Club's monthly life drawing night is tonight. Now over to Emma with sports after this qu quick commercial break. Oh, hi. What am I doing? Oh, I'm practicing for the water walk on... Saturday, October 12th from 4.30 p.m. to 8 p.m. at the Seaman High School football field and stadium. All proceeds go to Thirst Project. Can't wait to see you there. The boys cross country teams competed at Rimrock on Saturday. Varsity placed 10th out of 45 teams and JV finished in 9th. The girls golf team placed 2nd at the Centennial League Tournament yesterday. Congratulations to Lois Dieter for taking 1st overall. Now let's go to Josh with the weather. It's October and you know what that means? Less daylight and hopefully some cooler temperatures. Let's take a look back now at the month of September, which averaged out to be 7.9 degrees above normal. We are ready for some cooler temperatures and good news that is in the foreseeable future. But by no means is that the case for today. Heat indices in the mid 90s this afternoon. That means very hot conditions for after school sports practices. We should see those heat indices start to fall into the low to mid 80s by the time we get to around sunset. But yes, looking very warm for today. Now big changes arrive tomorrow and a flash flood watch goes into effect continuing through 7 p.m. on Wednesday. And this is why there's a slight risk for severe weather for areas to our northwest, a marginal risk here, and we are expecting some heavy rainfall. Take a look here by 7 o'clock this evening, some heavy rain in central Kansas. By midnight, those showers and thunderstorms starting to near Topeka, and that could continue off and on throughout the morning tomorrow. 
perhaps lighter at times, heavier at other times into the noon hour. You can see some perhaps some redeveloping showers and thunderstorms. And then by about 7 o'clock tomorrow evening when that flash flood watch expires, most of the heavy rain should start shifting down into southeastern Kansas. Seven day forecast shows some big changes in your weather. Take a look at this. We go from a high of 80 tomorrow to a high of 65 Wednesday. Now you can't see this, but lows are in the lower 50s for Thursday and Friday mornings. More rain Friday into Saturday, but overall 60s and 70s for highs. It's going to be a nice change to our weather coming up. Now, Jake and Emma, back to you. Recently, FFA did some renovations to their room. Let's go see what changes they made. In this segment, we're going to be learning about an agriculture program called FFA. Let's go learn more about it. Uh, so I am the agriculture education and teacher and FFA advisor. And so we teach ag all, everything agriculturally related, uh, animals, plants, general, um, anything. You really need to know about agriculture in general. So FFA really is a leadership-based organization. It is agriculture and leadership, which means there's activities to do on a wide variety of base, uh, like a wide basis. Over the summer, the FFA room got expanded and doubled its size. So the change for this year is that we actually took the wall out that was originally between W11 and W12, and so now we just have one mega classroom that is taken up of both spaces. Let's find out how these changes have improved the program. The changes have improved the classroom by allowing Van Gorda to teach more kids. So more kids get the opportunity to take agriculture classes and they also make it more fun. You get more students to collaborate with and it's better for our classroom as a whole. Uh, it makes it to where I can have a lot more students. Uh, before we were pretty much set to only about 20 to 24 kids per class depending on the class and so now it makes it to where we can have substantially more kids and I can actually grow my program. Um, you should join FFA because it's a huge family and you get to get involved. Um, they want you, like the administration wants you to be in at least one activity and in FFA you get uh, learning and fun all in one activity. I just thought it'd be fun and makes me more involved in school. FFA sure sounds like a good program. You should go join and check out their new room. I like the new improvements they made to the room. That's all we have for today, Bikes. Have a great rest of your Tuesday.